Hi everyone, it's Matt from Roof Underground. I hope you're having a great day or night, whatever time it is for you. This afternoon we're going to visit Brett's aquarium. He's got a four foot aqua one reef. Just going to help him confirm a few things with his lighting, make sure it's, it's where he wants it to be, as well as give him a hand with uh, setting up his dosing pump. I know it's a really, really nice tank with a lot of goniopora. So let's head over and check it, check it out. So we're here with Brett and we're taking a look at his Aqua One 400. I'm correct, 400 I think it was. Yes, that's right. Awesome. And how long have you had this running for? Eight months. Nice. Uh, and then we're just talking about it off the camera, but you've had some ups and downs um, with your tank, but you went really patient and then decided to uh, give it a bit of time to cycle through. Yes. Okay. Okay. And um, so yeah, tell me about that little journey so far. So I've come from a freshwater background. So I had 15 to 20 years in that. And I've changed now over to the salt water. Um, I'm learning along the way of just the different bits and pieces you actually need compared to just the straight fresh water. And learning with coral, they're all live animals. So that's been my main, my main actual learning point. Um, I would love to have heaps of different types of corals, but I've gone with um, one particular type so they'll all mingle in together so they're not actually fighting with each other. Yeah, we can definitely tell that you favour one particular species, which is doing really, really well for you. And um, it's getting trickier to find um, varieties of colours you don't have now. <laughs> That's right. Um, so so I'm, as I go to different shops now, I can, actually, I can see that I've got the bulk of the now it's uh, looking for little unique ones. So we got ourselves um, Acromatic return pump, um, nicely mounted on the sides with all the controllers. Got a, a UV steriliser, I'm not sure exactly what brand of UV steriliser it is. There's controls there though. Um, we do have a Clarisy back here, which is gonna be fitted, Clarisy roller, upgrade from the sock. So that's sort of the next project. Yeah. Uh, an eShop skimmer, yeah. I have seen those before, you've got your ATO, uh, with your storage beside the aquarium. Uh, yeah, so you've got a bit of tech to add into here. And then your chiller, nicely stashed in the um, compartment next to it. Uh, the dosing pump's gonna go here, and then the dosing chamber is back here for all the liquids. There's still plenty of room though, so everything's gonna be nice and easy to, to get to and to maintain. At the moment, it's just basic setup as far as I know. Oh, there's definitely, uh, Definitely some good equipment in there, which, yeah. you know, if you found with fish health and stuff becomes necessary. That's not the end of the equipment. We've got um, standard flow wave makers at both corners of the tank. And you've got the Orbit 4s in a duo as well, which we just did some programming on. So they're looking good. And you said as part of your routine, you do a 40 litre water change on this once a week. 
Yep. So it's getting regular water changes. You've got your auto feeder there, and you do some frozen food on top of yes, that as well. Yes, frozen food on top of that. And yeah, so what, are, what what's going on with these um, the splendid mandarins? Are you just pumping well, food into them? I've, I've just got them, and. Um, they, you've got to make sure that they're feeding properly before you actually put them in. Otherwise, um, they'll be dead amongst all the rocks and you're trying to pick them out and it's just not worth it. How are they going so far? They're not eating at the moment. So So we're going an uphill battle? Yes. <laughs> I'll make sure we get plenty of pods in, okay? <laughs> pods, pods and plankton. Um, but yeah, let's have a, a bit more of a look through at the corals. Appreciate you uh, spending the time uh, letting us have a look at your aquarium today, Brett. Much appreciated. And um, yeah, really impressed. We've got some nice photos and videos done, so I hope you enjoy those as well. No, thank you for coming over. Thank you. No worries.